All right, Dr. K, thank you. Well, a recent study shows Indiana's obesity epidemic cost the state more than $8 billion in 2017, and that economic burden weighs heavily on employers. A small company in Indianapolis is seeing so much success on the scales, the Indiana Chamber selected it to lead the charge as companies battle obesity. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta has more. Kylie. Thank you very much, Gary. Indianapolis, based on Target Health, is partnering with the Chamber's Wellness Council of Indiana to help achieve its Vision 2025 plan. A key goal is to drive down Indiana's obesity rates to build healthier Hoosiers and improve bottom lines for employers. On Target Health's resume includes 12,000 pounds of fatty tissue lost through its work with employers. Here to tell us more is On Target Health co-founder and chief executive officer Todd Fouché, and he brought along an employer success story, Indianapolis Airport Authority, and Rachel Stevens is senior director of human resources. Thank you both for being here. Well, thank you. Thank you for having us. Well, Todd, first of all, congratulations on the new partnership. Yes, it's a great partnership. We feel very fortunate to be partnering with the Wellness Council. Yeah, there are a lot of options out there for employers who want to help their employees lose weight. But you say your program is unique because it focuses on a person's physiology. Explain what that means. When we take a physio physiology approach, we're measuring a person's body composition, how much of their total scale weight is coming from fatty tissue, water, or muscle. We also measure their metabolism, which will vary for every single person. Those two measurements will help us identify the caloric intake for each person to help get their bodies to attack fatty tissue and improve health outcomes. It's so really almost a different program for each person. It's designed for each person. And you've worked with a long list of Indiana employers, Wayne Township Schools, Hill and Brand, of course, the Indianapolis Airport Authority. So Rachel, before we talk about what this has meant for your individual employees, tell us how this program has helped your organization as a whole, a big picture perspective. Sure, Kylie, I'm a research geek. I love to read and study after study after study shows us that healthier employees are happier and more productive employees. So not only does it benefit our bottom line specifically, but it also is helpful to those employees with their work and in their personal lives, which is exactly what we want to do with the Indianapolis airport. We want to make sure our employees are happy and healthy so they can be more productive at home and at work. And you have some good numbers to show that we on a big picture incredible numbers. Yeah. So we've been working with Todd's group for the last year. We have just about 70 employees in the program and collectively they've lost about 350 fatty pounds, specifically fatty pounds. And it's just incredible. We've got employees that have gone off medications and reverse trends getting into obesity related medical conditions. Um, and so it's all good news for us. And I'm sure you work with some of these people one on one. Are, are they Absolutely. excited? What do you hear from them? I have employees who come into my office on a regular basis who are just thanking me all the time for bringing this organization to the IAA um, because it is getting them to a healthier place in their life. Mm -hmm. Many of them have given up medications that are costing them money out of their own pocket. Um, and for them, that's just a big win-win for everybody. And one stat from Alliance for a Healthier Indiana says obese employees per 100 generate more than $51,000 in medical claims each year compared to only $7,500 for healthy weight workers. So Todd, why should employers take action and maybe think outside the box in the way that they do it? Using those numbers alone, if an employer engages as the airport authority has in a program that can reduce their medical expenses by those significant dollars. But prediabetes, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, musculoskeletal issues, acid reflux, sleep apnea, all of these issues are very much related to too much fatty tissue in the body. So to help educate employees and their families on how to get their bodies to attack and reduce fatty tissue generates the return, the engagement, and the improved outcomes that the employers are looking for. And uh, just a few seconds le left, but speaking of success stories, you're an entrepreneur. You started on Target just five years ago. You have doubled your revenue every year. So you're seeing a lot of growth at your company. The, uh, and that growth is truly indicative of employers in the community, even hospitals. Major hospital in Shelbyville, Indiana is also now a participant in the program. So every industry, we're having the similar results, and we really, it's a call to the community to help join us in addressing one of Indiana's greatest crises. All right, well, Todd and Rachel, thank you both for being here today, and uh, good luck as you move forward and with the partnership. Thank, thank you. you. Gary, back to you.